Hi, this is Jason, a product specialist at Redcourt Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and set up Virtual Time Clock Pro Edition for Windows. In order to get to our website, navigate to www.redcourt.com. At the top of the website, you're going to find our download page. From the download menu, select Virtual Time Clock Pro. After you've reviewed the system requirements, go ahead and select Download. After downloading the software, you'll be prompted to run or save the software. Go ahead and select Run, and the Setup Wizard will launch. Go ahead and click Next. After successfully installing the software, the next window you're going to see is the Virtual Time Clock Welcome window. From this window, you can open a sample company and view sample company data. In order to return to this window, simply close the time clock and relaunch it. Today we're going to open a new company. Go ahead and enter your company information. You'll need to add an administrator and administrator's password. If you want to add additional administrators, you can do that later. Go ahead and click Create. A new database was successfully created for your company. From this window, you can import users using a CSV file or from QuickBooks. We're going to go ahead and add users. You only need a first and last name in order to get your time clock going. After you've added all your time clock users, go ahead and click Save and Close. This is the Configure Users window. You can see a warning icon here that a password has not yet been created for that time clock user. You can create one here or they will be prompted the first time they clock in. Let's go ahead to the main configuration panel. In order to set overtime calculations on time cards, let's select overtime from the configuration window. The time clock has three default rules. Let's go ahead and set weekly only. Let's assign some users for that rule. Let's go ahead and select all. Save changes. Let's return back to the main configuration window. In order to set what program rules are in place for our time clock, let's go ahead and select Display Groups. There are different interfaces available for the time clock users. You can change those interfaces here. You can also change User Actions and Manager Actions. Most people accept the defaults, but if you'd like to customize the features that are available to your managers and to your users, you can do that here. Let's go ahead back to the main configuration window. If you need to track time spent on different tasks, jobs, or projects, go ahead and select Activities. The default for the time clock is In, but you can create different activities by selecting Add, or you can edit the name of the activity name here. Let's return to the main configuration window. To set when your employees get paid, let's go ahead and select Payroll Settings. Here you can select the payroll frequency. We'll leave it at Weekly. Your current payroll period is set here. You can enter this date manually. The second date is going to populate based on the payroll frequency that you've selected. You can also select electronic time card approval by reviewing these options here. You can also export your payroll information to a number of payroll providers. After everything is set, go ahead and click Apply and return to the main configuration panel by clicking Show All. To set how your total hours will be calculated and displayed on your time cards, let's go ahead and click Time Settings. Time Settings is where you can select what day of the week your work week starts. The default for the time clock is Monday, but you can select any day of the week you'd like. Additionally, the time clock allows for rounding of time. The rounding is only going to occur on reports. The time clock still records exact punch times. Let's go ahead and return to the main configuration window. Password protection is an important feature in the time clock. Let's go ahead and select Security. The checkbox requiring an administrator to log in using their password is checked by default. We recommend that that stays checked. On the right hand side, you'll be able to visit Password Rules. The defaults are a minimum password length of 4 and case sensitive. If you'd like strong passwords, simply check this box and this criteria here will apply. After you've made any changes, go ahead and click Apply and then return to the main configuration window. 
Finally, in order to schedule a backup of your time clock data, let's select Backup Schedule. In this window, you can schedule when the backup will occur and where the backup file will be sent. A USB thumb drive can work well for this application. Go ahead and select Show All. Congratulations, Virtual Time Clock Pro is now ready for you to use. Let's go ahead and close the Configure window. This is the main Virtual Time Clock Administration window. Across the top you'll see a row of icons, the first being an Entry Editor where you can add, modify, or delete entries, a place where you can add entries in case somebody forgets to punch in, a place to add leave, print reports, export your time clock data into a CSV file for use in something like Excel, a place for payroll approval, messaging within the time clock, a place to run your backup, and again, a place to also return to the configure window in order to administer your time clock configuration settings. Let's go ahead and put this time clock in action. From the bottom left, let's select user mode. In order to return to administration mode, simply select file and turn administration on. Let's go ahead and clock Grace in. Because this is the first time she has used the time clock, Grace will need to create a password. Her user status window appears. She simply clicks Start. Thank you for watching this video. For additional resources, please visit our website at www.redcourt.com.